Hey Scorpios, welcome to your love reading July 24th to the 31st for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for all my newbies, I always go into the, my meditative session and what I picked up in that, and then I go over the pre-shuffle where the cards are already laid out, and then we go ahead and do your reading, okay? By the way guys, yes, my hair is a little brighter. <laughs> uh, I try to do my second phase transition of getting to purple. To do that, I have to like totally bleach my hair, and I'm having issues getting all the color lifted out. So now I'm rocking like a... I don't know what to call it. Honestly, like Merida from Brave Color. I don't know what to call it. But this isn't going to last for very long. So to be honest, guys, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, but anyway, Scorps, just for those um, who were wondering what's up with my hair. Okay. Scorpio, your energy. Ooh. <laughs> I got a lot of hits. I got a lot of intuitive hits. Um, first things first, I saw a gold coin, which got me so excited for you. It just told, it just epitomizes the Ace of Pentacles, right? Um, Scorpios, you could be coming into a lot of money into a lot of stability but to be honest with you I feel like it's an offer I feel like there's an offer trying to come through for you or someone's trying to give you an offer on something a new start a new beginning starting a new something that's going to provide a lot of stability you could even be getting a gift of some kind um the thing that was interesting to me though is that it was spinning like you know, like like you know like if you were to take a quarter and like toss it like heads or heads or tails I think someone's in, in I think someone's in decision mode about giving you this offer or you probably don't know what to do with it, okay? It seems very 50-50, like either you don't know if you want it or not or they don't know if they want to give it to you or not or you know what I mean? It's that kind of energy where it's like it's still very much, thank you, it's up in the air. <laughs> it's actually quite literal. Um, it's something that's up in the air right now. It's just kind of like hanging out in the cosmos. I don't think this offer has come in for you yet. I definitely don't think you've had it yet. That's why I think it's still in the air, still kind of being decided on. The next thing they showed me was a horseshoe crab, which actually got me, the nerd in me got, ah, the nerd in me got so excited. The nerd in me got so excited because I actually had to study horseshoe crabs as part of my program. Um, they are fascinating creatures they're so fascinating they're ugly they're, they're so ugly but they're so fascinating now with horseshoe crabs I don't know if there's a spirit well everything has a spiritual meaning right I just don't inherently know what the spiritual meaning is of it um I know that they're actually used for medicines like their their blood specifically is actually really I'm not going to go into it because it's not important here uh, but their blood is very very valuable for medical purposes and and Scorpio's does that not just epitomize a Scorpio energy? It's like there's something very healing about your energy. At least someone's perceiving it that way. Someone knows that. I think so. High price. They just that my guys just said high price. Oh yeah, that's definitely about the blood. Okay. Sorry, I know I'm all over the place. Uh, first read of the day. First read of the day. Uh, Scorpios, your healing energy is very valuable. Someone's very aware of it. Someone sees you as kind of like they're 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 antidote. They're healing juice. They're, they're, stop it. I have coffee and it was like, oh, actually, let me get this in my coffee. Mm. Oh, a lot of coffee this morning. Yeah, a lot of healing energy. Someone wants it. Someone wants it. And I do feel like it's the person behind this offer. Now, coming back to the horseshoe crabs and the spiritual meaning of it, intuitively, I do feel a lot of feminine energy kind of coming off of you, Scorpio, and associated with this horseshoe crab. They just showed me the ace of wands okay um but it feels like such feminine energy scorpio just be careful about pregnancy be careful about pregnancy if you don't want to be pregnant i'm just like i'm feeling a little bit of a pregnancy vibration vibe okay going on right here um you could be wondering if you're pregnant or there could be a, a an up there could be an opportunity to become pregnant in their near future and for some of you it is associated with that offer okay it could be an offer in romance and that could lead to pregnancy, just saying. Um, but Scorpios, if you've ever looked at a horseshoe crab, it's funny because when I do my meditative session, sometimes they'll show me the animal associated with the zodiac sign. And I've gotten, you know, Scorp Scorpio, Scorpions, um, uh, visuals when I've meditated on your energy. And I kind of expected that to happen, but oh, it was a horseshoe crab. But they're so, they're, they're very Scorpionic, actually, if I were to think about it. Um, they like to sit on the beach and they're very prehistoric as well. And Scorpio, you know, that ancient knowledge, Pluto kind of energy is very much coming off of you right now. And I do feel like that is associated with the horseshoe crab because they actually are very prehistoric creatures. They, um, you know, very much like the alligators, crocodiles, uh, they come from, pre I can never say that word, pre-Jurassic times. They have descendants from there. They're, they're anthropods, 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 doesn't matter. 
Scorpio, the last thing they gave me was a lot of po po polarity. Oh my God, why can't I speak today? A uh, polarity energy. They actually uh, showed me the black and white pillars from the High Priestess card and then the High Priestess came out. Um, and they showed me black, black and white photos, like landscape specifically. So maybe you're a photographer, you're dealing with a photographer. Um, but Scorpio, I think you've been doing a lot of integrating of your masculine and feminine energies, <clears throat> the dark and the light. I think you've been doing a lot of this. And so I think you've been fairly quiet. I think you've been fairly isolated while you're doing this. And I don't think it's been easy, actually. Scorpios, I don't think it's been all that easy on you. Um, I think it's been a little harder than usual, kind of being in that Pluto underworld kind of energy to do that, right? You had to, you had to do that. You kind of had to go into the underworld energy to integrate these energies. And I actually feel like for some of you, it's been a little painful, that it's been painful, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Okay, so let's go into the pre-shuffle. Six of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. And then we had a huge batch come out, which just epitomizes exactly what you're going through, Scorpio. Uh, Four of Swords, Libra energy. Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Could also be air or fire. I feel like this is drama. I feel like this is drama that you have been trying to recover from. Could even just be a lot of trauma that's really prohibited you from integrating your energies. The Chariot, Cancerian energy, you know, moving ahead, moving past it. Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and then High Priestess, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. She's got a baby. <laughs> I do, these are new cards, by the way, Spellcaster's deck. She's got a baby. Scorpio, be careful. And then we end with the Five of Swords, Aquarian energy. So yeah, Scorpios, like I said, feels like it's been a little bit of a rough time. It's been a little chaotic while you've been trying to do this, trying to integrate these energies. This offer that's trying to come in, for some of you, it might be from this person. Because some of you, it's just recent drama you've been dealing with. Others, it's like lifelong drama that you've been trying to purge and work through and heal. And especially with the eclipse energy of Capricorn, that's been bringing up a lot of past shit and a lot of past, oh, a lot of past karma for people, okay? Um, stuff that they thought they dealt with and maybe they didn't really deal with, okay? You working on healing past that, like I said, some of you, some of you have a person from this drama trying to come in. I can feel it. But Scorpio, here's you moving to your Ten of Cups, moving to your happiness. Also, I'm getting a lot of happiness in work. Whatever it is you're doing for actual work, you're, you're finding a lot of joy in right now. Or you could be switching careers, right? Because we have the chariot there. You could be moving homes, moving cities, moving jobs to really uh, make sure that you're getting your, your emotional fulfillment. And putting in a lot of work into integrating your energies to become more of a high priestess energy, cemented, to become more cemented in your high priestess energy. And then we have this five of swords over here in the end here, okay? Scorpio, some of you are, some people are jealous of you doing this because I think you have had, Jesus, because you've had to isolate yourself so much. Some of you could even be studying the spiritual arts or someone in your energy field could be studying the spiritual arts and getting a little bit of that, diving into your spirituality. And I think some people are actually quite irritated with you <laughs> that you're doing this because you've shoved a lot of people away. Yeah. You've really, really isolated yourself. Some people feel like, wow, Scorpio just dipped. Scorpio just, just abandoned. Scorpio just left. And it's getting people upset. And I think it's just because they're not really working on themselves. Mm, Scorpio, some of you might be feeling this energy coming your way. Be mindful of that. Especially if it's one person in particular that was very, um, I'm getting hostile, was very hostile with you gave you a lot of hostile energy put a lot of hostile energy aggressive energy into your life i'm hearing battle mm. scorpio someone's battling themselves here it's not you you're too busy integrating your own shit but some the oh god okay scorpio some of you might be feeling this this is that this this little download i just got is not for everybody scorpio's there's someone who's battling a lot with them with their ego. This is a very ego heavy card. Battling a lot with their ego and and they know that you're growing, they know you're isolating, they know that you are integrating your energies and that's really pissing them off. And that's really upsetting them because in a way it's it's making them have to look at themselves and they don't like to do that. And you might be feeling their energy lashing out at you. Yeah, you might be just feeling aggressive energy and you're not really sure why. And I'm feeling a bit of an energetic pulling on you. 
and energetic pulling on you. Whoever's doing this is very good at manipulating energy. They could be a very much a magician kind of vibe, magician kind of energy or queen of wands energy, where it's like, I, I almost feel like they're trying to wrap their energy around you and pull you in. It's so weird. Yeah, I'm like, I'm seeing like, I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing energy. And it's interesting because it's, it's white, which to me is very positive. But and it's not healing you. That's why I'm like, I'm surprised it's white energy. <clears throat> like coming out, coming around you and trying to pull you towards this person. And you know that, you can feel that. You can feel that. You can, you can definitely feel that. But I think you're handling it well. You don't like it though. You don't like it, but I think you're handling it well. And I think because you're not succumbing to the pull of this person, they're getting more pissed off. That's only for a couple of you. Okay, Scorpios, let's get into your read. Oh my God, 10 minutes. Okay, Scorpios, let's get into your reading here, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret your readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below, okay? Keep in mind, guys, readings are for guidance and entertainment, and they do represent uh, um, opportunities First and foremost, that may be coming your way. It's up to you what you want to do with them. That's all a reading is. They just tell you what's going on. It, you are the masters of your own life. You decide what you want to do with it. Okay? Any messages for Scorpios regarding love? July 24th to the 31st. All the feminine energy feels really awesome, Scorpio. I got to be honest with you. Uh... Someone's insanely attracted to you. More your energy than physical, but they they do find you attractive <laughs> physically. But they're definitely more attracted to your energy, and I think it's because of that healing component. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? July 24th to the 31st. Okay. Any messages for... That was very quick. Oh, yeah. See, Scorpio, we have the Four of Swords, Libra Energy, and the Six of Wands, Leo Energy. This is you being victorious in your healing state. That Four of Swords, actually, Scor ooh, 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 Scorpio. Some of you are so surrounded by your ancestors right now. Like, all those wolves watching that guy, it's like they're protecting you. They're protecting you. Scorpio, while you've been integrating these energies, your spirit team, your ancestors, your guides have actually been trying to protect you. Especially with this per that's also what's been helping you here. That's also why you're not succumbing to this person's energetic <laughs> lasso. <laughs> it's like, that's how it seems to me, because they're trying to wrap around you and pull you in, pull you towards them. Uh, they can't do it. You're too protected. You're literally protected, and that's why you're, you're very victorious here. You're very victorious with that. Wow. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> My guys just went, yeah, nice try. <laughs> wow, they're funny today. <laughs> that's funny <laughs> any other messages four cups in reverse oh my oh and you know what's so funny look another meditative state meditative state meditative state but this is in reverse so four cups in reverse is a cancerian energy it's usually associated with abandonment or rejection or just walking away scorpio whatever this is you're putting something down scorpio you're putting something down you're letting something go with this energy emotionally you're letting go of a lot of emotional baggage, which is why, okay, which is part of the integration process you're going through. Some of you, this feels a little bit like an initiation, I gotta be honest. Some of you, this feels like an, um, an initiation on your spiritual path. Some of you could be shamans. Ooh. Hold on a second. Card vomit. Ooh. Judgment in reverse. Scorpio, I am actually not loving this energy. It's Pluto. Thank you. It's Pluto. It's just Pluto's influence. Because <laughs> usually I love the judgment card. When it's in reverse, I get a little nervous, but my guides were confirming for me. This is just Pluto retrogrades energy. It's just emphasizing that. Fire energy, also Scorpio, because it is Pluto. You're releasing a lot of emotional baggage because Pluto is helping you out. Pluto is helping. Pluto retrograde is helping you out, which it's going to go direct in October, I believe. So expect this energy of purging emotional baggage and karma and shit from not just this life, but other lives. That's going to be with you until October, until the Scorpio season. Any other messages for Scorpio? Any other messages for Scorpio? Scorpio.
Scorpio, people who have abandoned you and rejected you through the course of your life are really regretting it. Some of you could be in the public eye, that Six of Wands energy. Um, but I'm getting a lot of regret from a lot of people. A lot of people. They underestimated you. They couldn't see who you really were. But Scorpios, you know, I know you're not going to like this, but it's just, it's just the truth here. You've grown a lot, Scorpio. But I'm picking this up from, from people from the history of your life here that still have access to you in some way or access to knowledge about you in some way. And a lot of people are full of regret, okay? Because they couldn't see who you were. They judged you. They misjudged you. They made a lot of assumptions about you. But in all fairness, Scorpio, you have grown a lot. And from the person you used to be, you, you didn't know how to present yourself or you didn't know how to present yourself accurately to who you really were, okay? Also, you know, Scorpio's very mysterious. People have a hard time reading Scorpio's anyway. Any other messages for Scorpio's? Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Oh, <laughs> what's this? We have, oh, Nine of Pentacles, I like that. Virgo energy, also my pre-Empress card. So just think of a younger single Empress strength leo energy we're gonna have a lot of leo energy in readings for the next couple weeks and then we've got the lovers in reverse gemini energy also my divine soul connection card whatever label you want to put on it this is a very very intense soul connection here um soulmates twin flames divine counterparts as well here this is you conquering your pain about a connection conquering your pain about a connection a broken connection i'm getting oh god more of this rejection energy coming in scorpios you might have been rejected by this person and it's really unfortunate because you have love for them but it's like it's that healthy love it's that mature love it's that unconditional love you're trying to practice forgiveness too they're trying to practice forgiveness with them but either way you're coming out very confident Oh, and also very sexy, <laughs> very sexy. The sexy attractiveness energy from, from whoever is, has their eyes on you, is, is, it's a little intense. Um, but Scorpios, you're coming out very confident, very independent. You know what you want for yourself. You know yourself. You know how to present yourself. And people are really seeing you for who you are. And in the midst of all of this, you're really, uh, it's almost like you're taking your pain from all these heartaches, all this drama, whatever this broken connection is, and you're really putting it into building yourself up and building your stability okay overall energy oh my ten of swords gemini energy it's not your energy underneath that we have a queen of wands in reverse aries energy could also be fire or water and underneath that we got another court card we have the king of pentacles in reverse taurian energy could also be earth or um air scorpios you might be dealing with a gemini <laughs> you might actually be dealing with straight up gemini because we got two court cards here representing one person and it's not your energy and oh you know, some of you, this might be a divine counterpart situation. Um, this is their, their masculine and feminine side. Their masculine side is a very Taurian earthy side and their feminine side is a very Aryan. Um, they could just be an Aries Taurus cusper, but it's a very Aryan, uh, fiery, uh, sort, sort of side for their feminine side here. Okay. But the fact that they're both in reverse is really not so awesome. They're not in a good place. I feel like this is the person who's trying to, who is trying to energetically lasso you, okay? They're in a lot of pain, Scorpio. They're in a lot of pain. This isn't just representing an ending. I feel like for some of you, yeah, there was obviously an ending here of some sort. Um, but this is representing their pain. What? Hold on, they're giving me a download about this. Scorpio's... I know this is gonna sound disgusting, but it's just what they told me. You're eating from the same trough with this imagery, okay? That's what my guides told me. I know it's a little gross. You both, you have pain with this person too, Scorpio, but like I said, you've been in a healing process to integrate your energies and to get rid of your, your baggage, especially in regards to this person, uh, for your own betterment they're eating from that same trough but they're not eating in the same way okay i don't think they're integrating their energies the way you are i think they're having a hard time with it which is why they're angry towards you which is why they're trying to lasso you energetically um like you're revisiting the carcass of of the pain of what what has been and what is still carried within you and scorpio you're dealing with it beautifully beautifully 
beautifully. It's like you're going in a meditative state. You're trying to understand it. Your guides, um, your spirit team is really trying to help you heal through it and purge through it. And Jupiter is here. Oh, Jupiter. That's so weird. I said Jupiter. That's so weird. I said Jupiter because Jupiter plays a big role in the last um, counterpart message that I got, which is actually in the Sag reading. So if you're a part of the counterpart situation, definitely watch that Sag reading. It's the last one I put out. It's like walrus and the giraffe something like that when jupiter goes direct there's gonna be a lot of stuff happening for the counterparts but pluto is helping you um your planet is helping you purge all of that they're not dealing so well they are not dealing so well, scorpio i'm getting a lot of possessive energy here a lot of jealousy a lot of jealousy oh my god a lot of jealousy a lot of possessiveness this person is very attached you know yeah that's that's another thing here scorpio this person suffers from attachment versus unconditional love okay like i said you have unconditional love for this person which is why you've been able to heal in such a positive way and why you can still understand this connection you have with them and have emotion for them without it affecting you in a negative way because there's this separation or pain going on they're not dealing with it like that they're not dealing with it like that. So let's look at this energy with the Four of Swords and the Six of Wands. I'm really curious about the Six of Wands energy more so than the Four of Swords, because Four of Swords, it's just your healing process. Some of you, it's, a, it's that initiation I was picking up on. Either way, you're very protected in this state while you're integrating these energies. So let's go to the Six of Wands. For some of you in the counterpart situation where you're inter integrating energies, you are feeling this person's um, attachment and their pain and their greed and their possessiveness, which is part of what was so difficult for you because it's essentially feeling someone's energy that is not being dealt with in the right way while trying to integrate your own right so let's look at the six of wands for scorpio ace of pentacles and the four of swords so i have the six of wands for scorpio regarding love <laughs> July 24th to the 31st. Yeah, Scorpios, your guides are with you. You're coming out so victorious, and I'm just being drawn. To, is that a falcon? Yeah, that's a falcon. The falcon on your shoulder. While well, a lot of people might be jealous and upset that you've kind of pushed away or pushed people out, you have so much support from the other side. Page of Wands. Ooh. I'm getting flirty messages here. You're getting a lot of ideas, Scorpio. You're you're getting very creative. You're getting very creative. And once you integrate these energies, you're gonna feel so much better. You're gonna feel a lot less like a crazy person. I think some of you felt very like insane during this process, by the way, death on the bottom of the deck. Um, but I'm getting a lot of ideas and creativity coming through you. Your sacral has really been healing too, which Scorpio's just as a little tidbit. Because the sacral chakra is yours, like it, it's associated with Scorpio, you always have to make sure you're taking care of that because it's very sensitive to becoming imbalanced or needing healing, okay? But I feel like this process has really helped you heal that and balance that chakra out, which is why your, your, cre your creativity is so on point right now. So I'm going to be getting a lot of business ideas. And just feeling romantic and feeling sexy and the actually yeah and the more that you're working on that um energy that sacral energy you are becoming more attractive to people now we have seven of cups scorpionic energy Ooh, five of swords aquarian energy and then the chariot in reverse can't serian energy Ooh, i don't like that i don't like that i don't like that i don't like that Scorpio, like I said, you're, you're very sexy and attractive right now, and I think you're getting a lot of attention, but this energy, mm, I don't like it. I don't like that. The Five of Swords and the Chariot in Reverse, someone's trying to block block you. Someone's trying to block all these options for you. God, I think it's this person. It's like, this is someone who wants to stop you. This is someone who's like, you're not going anywhere. You're not moving forward. Where the hell do you think you're going? You got all those cups? No, you don't. You're not taking all those cups. It, it feels like that. It feels very much like that while you're in this victorious mode. Someone, Someone's really jealous, Scorpio. Oh my God. Someone's like... Wow. It's only about six of wands. And I do feel like it's someone who actually is feeling very romantic towards you, which is kind of the sad part. It's only about six of wands for Scorpio. 
regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, Scorpio. Whoa, justice, Libra energy. It could be a Libra Scorp Cusper. Overall, for the oh, for the Six of Wands, we have the Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. So Scorpio, in your victory, like I said, you're very attractive and you are getting a lot of attention. You're getting hit up a lot. Okay, Seven of Cups is having options. Page of Wands are flirty messages, sexy messages. And then overall, you got a Knight of Cups. This is an offer trying to come in. And I feel like it's from this person who wants, excuse me, who wants to block all your options. They just want you for themselves. And I do feel like it's this person. If I can pick it up. It's this person. They want you all to their self, to themselves. They want you all to themselves. They feel like that's bringing justice to the situation. They feel that way. Wow, I don't like that. They also see you as having the upper hand and that really bothers them. That really bothers them. Scorpio, you might not be aware this person's coming. I'm seeing that coin again. Yeah, this is definitely the person who's going to be making this offer to you, who's been trying to figure out if they should make this offer to you. Anyway, so you've been purging, 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 purging. Thanks to Pluto. Um, there's also this energy of rejection and a rejection towards you that you've experienced by other people and people realizing they made a really big mistake in doing that and treating you that way. Now, moving ahead to this energy, I don't want to clarify those energies. I don't feel like it's going to help you guys that much. Focus. There we go. So we have that nine of pentacles with strength and the lovers in reverse. This is definitely you being in your strength, being in your confidence, your power, independent. And it feels very single, Scorpio. Like I said, if like you've been isolating yourself, it feels like a very single energy conquering conquering yeah it's like you're just coming into a place of self-mastery scorpio but let's look at strength and see what we get off that then we'll get some advice i don't like this person's energy at all this other person's energy who's trying to come in who's trying to block all your other options they don't want you to be dating they don't want you to have suitors they don't want you to be <laughs> it's funny because they're so attracted to you but they're like why do they have to be so attractive <laughs> that's actually kind of funny uh, let's you have to be so sexy <laughs> uh let's look at strength let's look at strength i'm using gilded tarot to clarify do i have strength for scorpio regarding love tell me about strength for scorpio regarding love july 24th to the 31st tell me about strength for Scorpio, regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about strength. Oh, look who showed up again. King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. Again, this is that person you're dealing with. Their feminine side is a queen of wands in reverse right now, okay? Their masculine side is more of a Taurian king of Pentacles in reverse. And I really feel like a lot of strong Gemini energy because Ten of Swords is also Gemini. Lovers is Gemini. They got two cards representing themselves. It just it just feels very Gemini and very air-like. Very, very air-like. Anyway, it doesn't matter. They don't have to be. I'm just feeling a lot of that energy. So again, exhibiting strength and confidence in the shadow of this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. In the shadow. Scorpio, it almost feels like another reason they're so upset they're just kind of like how could scorpio just how could they just do that like how could they just like, shadow our connection or like eclipse our connection it feels very much like this is all related to the eclipse the eclipse might have triggered this process for you and this person here again feels very counterpart doesn't have to be though um but how could they just overcome this how could scorpio just just put this behind them tell me about strength Remember, this could all be vice versa, too. Tell me about strength for Scorpio. Whoa. Let's see what we have. <sighs> Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, and then the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. This is you. This is you, Scorpio. Putting that to bed. Really trying to put that to bed because you've purged your emotions about it. You've used that pain to become more confident, to put investment into your stability here. You want to work. Even if it was just integrating the energies, if it was actually working your ass off at work or just on your self-growth, that's what you decided to do with this pain and that's how you conquered it. You turned it inward. 
You turned that pain into something positive. You turned it into something useful. Very vulture. Very vulture, which is very scorpionic. Let's see what else we got. Ow. That was weird. My nose just started, like, burning. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength for Scorpio regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about strength for Scorpio regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. You'll see why. So now we have two other cards came out. Uh, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, and the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be uh, earth or fire. Scorpio, I feel like you built yourself up. I think this person really took a jab at your confidence or took a jab at your self-esteem. Just made you a little crazy and you grew past that. But I also feel them coming in as a Knight of Pentacles because they're not so stable, because they're not really dealing with their energies or emotions so well. But they're coming in because they don't want you to be single. <laughs> It's so clear. They don't want you to be single. They don't want you to be single. They don't want you to be single and alone and independent. They want you to be confident, but with them. They want you to be confident, but with them. Overall energy, king of wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be fire or air. This is what I was saying about counterparts. This is their masculine and feminine side. Scorpio, this is your masculine side coming out here. You're, it's almost like you spent this time to integrate your energies and as this person approaches you, it's almost like your masculine side gets triggered. Yeah, when this person approaches you, your masculine side gets triggered. You, When you master your masculine and feminine energies, you can stay really balanced, but you also know when to turn on one energy more than the other for certain situations. And so when this person approaches you, you go full on masculine, full on alpha with them. Okay? Leo energy, like I said. Oh, wait, sorry, I already said that. Couldn't remember if I said that. Um... But the fact that it's in reverse, Scorpio, mm, I would just be careful with that. Because I feel like when this person comes in, it makes you upset. It makes you upset, but they're, they're coming in in reverse as well. They're coming in very ungrounded. So there's something with their energy that feels like it's triggering you a little bit. So just be mindful of that. Just be very mindful of that, okay? All right, let's get some advice for you, Scorpio, on what to do in this situation here. Because I don't like where they're coming from. They're, I feel like they're still coming from a lot of ego. Especially with this Five of Swords. Like, Scorpio can't have all that options. I'm not going to let Scorpio have all those options. I'm just going to claim Scorpio, then they won't have any options. <laughs> um, yeah, I just don't like that. I don't like that. Any advice from us Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice from us Scorpios regarding this spread? And I really don't like the fact that they think blocking all your options is justice. Like, it feels a little venge vengeful, vindictive. It just feels like it's coming from the wrong place. It feels like it's coming from a place of selfishness and about their own needs, not necessarily what you need and what's best for you. Any advice from my Scorpios? Oh... Oh, some of you are definitely going through an initiation. White Raven Spirit, trust in the magic. Energy of 66, which is a master number. This is this is going, like, finishing an ascension process, getting to the tippity-tippity top. This is the very last card in the Spirit Animal deck, and it is one of the most spiritual cards. This is essentially trusting not only your path, not only your guides, but having full faith in how things work and and the esoteric and the universe and just where you are and yourself. It's like having such faith and unconditional love that you really can't waver. You can't, you can't be shaken up. You know, it's, it's like, it's trying to reach that guru status in a way. It's feeling very guru to me. Um, and I'm not, and I'm not saying you're done growing. We, we all have growing to do. It's never it's never ending. It's an endless bottomless pit of growth that everyone has to do through the course of their life and, you know, lives to come. But that's what this is feeling like to me. It's just feeling like you have gone through an, an initiation and ascension and to keep trusting what you know. Trust yourself. Trust what you know. Trust your intuition. Trust your abilities. There's no reason not to. That's what my guides have said. There's no reason not to. Some of you are coming, becoming way more comfortable with that through this integration process. 
Any other advice for my Scorpios? Ah! <laughs> what did I say about Vulture? Oh, I love when that happens. Vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. 63 breaking down to a nine. I don't even have to talk about that card because essentially I've already talked about it, Scorpio. This is you taking your pain, taking that emotional baggage and turning it into something useful, turning it into something you can really put back into yourself, into your stability and your confidence by integrating these energies, right? Oh, I love that. Oh, I freaking love that. Oh boy. All right, we got a lot of cards right there. Hold on. I want to get all the other cards out first and then we'll go into... Scorpio, we got a lot of advice. Any other advice for Scorpios? Wow, holy shit. Scorpio, you might break... You might break the record for a card... You might break the record for spirit animal advice cards in a reading. I think the record is six, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so then we had these three cards come out together. Brown bear spirit, take a time out with the energy of nine. Antelope spirit, life is speeding up, the energy of two. Ooh, and then coyote, oh, I feel a tower, Scorpio. The second I pulled that card up, I, I felt a tower coming. Uh, coyote spirit, trust in divine detours with the energy of 16 breaking down to a seven. Yeah, okay. Scorpio, as you heal and integrate your energies with that bear spirit, bear spirit is like, you know, literally taking a pause, literally taking that pause to hibernate, to get stronger, to grow your strength, to grow your confidence, and you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. And that energy is picking up, right? Like, you can't be wavered, you can't be shaken. You're gonna need to hold on to that. For some reason, you're gonna need to hold on to that. Um, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not trying to make you nervous, but that's coming in really strong. You're going to have to hold on to the energy of I can't be shaken up because you're about to get a really big curveball. OK, Coyote Spirit is literally a curveball by spirit to get you on your path, but it feels so abrupt and disruptive, like like a tower moment, which is why I said that, especially coupled with Antelope Spirit. There's going to be an incoming tower or incoming event after you've gained this strength and you've had this bit of growth and integration here and expansion in your own spirituality that it's really going to shake something up in your life. But it's going to be for the better. It's going to be uh, putting you exactly where you need to be. And I feel like it's going to be very quick, very fast, and it's going to cause a lot of domino effects in your life. OK, then we have pig spirit up. Uh, Use your mind wisely. I heard trust. So that it threw me when I heard that. I, this is the, For some reason, this card is associated with trust for you right now. Use your mind wisely. 47, breaking down to an 11. Oh, keep, tr <laughs> keep trusting in the plan, Scorpio. Keep trusting in you. Keep trusting in what's happening and that you can go with the flow and it's happening for a reason. Keep trusting in that. Grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. 30, breaking down to a 3. And then we end with wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom, a 67 that breaks down to a four here. So I feel like this is coming after this little tower, after this curveball. And basically spirit is just saying, you know what to do here, Scorpio. You know what to do, we've prepared you. We've prepared you for whatever this event is. Use your mind wisely with trust. Keep trusting your abilities, keep trusting your intuition. Don't dismiss it. Don't dismiss it. If something, if you're getting intuitive hits that feel grand and a little fantastical and you're like, how could I even believe that? I had a little moment like that yesterday. Um, keep trusting it. Keep trusting it, okay? Uh, you know better by now. With that wolf spirit, you've had enough experience to know to trust your intuition. My guides, just, my guides are telling me to ask you, has your intuition ever let you down? Has your intuition ever been wrong? Like, have there been moments where your intuition was telling you something and then you're like, no, 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 no. And then you kind of got burned because of it. You know better, Scorpio. You, you know better. Keep trusting. Even if it seems grand, even if it seems fantastical, even if it seems unbelievable, trust your intuition, trust what you get, okay? And there is a tower moment coming. There is a curveball coming. You're going to need that trust in your intuition and the trust in in the path trust in spirit in this okay overall we oh <laughs> oh my god i love this okay 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 the last card the overall advice koala spirit spirit has a plan this is my blueprint card in this deck 35 breaking down to an eight 
eight, Scorpio, the eighth house. This is your path. Whatever is happening is exactly what's supposed to happen and you gotta keep trusting it. You gotta keep trusting it and underneath, mm, otter spirit. Oh, you guys, you are never alone. 42 breaking down to a six. Remember I was saying grand and fantastical? You might be getting intuitive hits that like the one is coming or or you or you have the one in your life. Some of you are about to get the romance of your life, honest to God. I know that's not for everybody, so you know, I know, I know, I know. But some of you are definitely about to either meet your twin, your counterpart, um, reunite with your counterpart or twin, or just meet the person you're supposed to like be with. The person that's supposed to just forever like forever forever okay forever um it, it just feels so cemented it just feels so much like so intertwined uh this card the otter card is usually like my lover's two of cups six of cups energy in this deck it is a very uh unbreakable bond it's basically knowing and understanding that hey this is someone who will always love you who will always support you who's always there for you it could also indicate that your guides are really loving on you to get you on the right path but i got but guys honestly it feels like you guys are getting intuitive hits on the love of your life coming your way and you're having a hard time believing it you're having a hard time believing it but scorpio you know better to trust your intuition you know by the way underneath that just just to really confirm scorpio <laughs> we do have the owl spirit this is a very divinely sent connection this is an ordained connection, a very spiritual connection. This is a very telepathic connection. You see it, Scorpio, with that owl spirit. You see clearly now, not to mention this is a progression energy with 42 to the 43. You see it coming. You know it's deep. You know it's spiritual. You know, Scorpio, even if you don't want to believe it, you know. Okay? Okay. All right, Scorpio. I'm not going to go into the other card. I'm like, I could go down the rabbit hole, guys, but okay just this last one and then i'm gonna end it just to really make my point hummingbird spirit be here now 34 do you not see mirror numbers here 43 and 34 hummingbird spirit is about now now scorpio now you know it you can feel it it's happening it's this is basically spirit screaming at you scorpio you know it's happening you know it's about to happen you know you know so keep trusting it you know oh i love it i love that i love it is this person the same person as this person <laughs> why did i just say it like that <laughs> for some of you it is this person which i'm like uh i don't i uh, uh, uh makes me feel a little weird but for some of you this could be a whole new person okay some of you this is a brand new person that you've never met before some of you it is this person coming in here but like i said i'm not liking their energy so decide for yourself in your own situation if it's best for you because scorpio you know to trust your own intuition so whatever your personal intuition is telling you you have your answer okay i know people like to get extra confirmation especially scorpios but scorpio you have intuition for a reason you've integrated your energies to become the high priestess for a reason your intuition's already told you the answer all right so just trust that okay all right guys i hope you enjoyed that don't forget to check out patreon facebook and instagram and i will see you guys later bye scorpios namaste